All right, books I still want to get to in 2020. It's just kind of a list that I kind of want to get off the checklist in 2020, hopefully. So this is not including my TBR for this month, but this is just a couple books. Not every book, obviously. But just like just some random books that I can say, hey, I, I need to um, check this off the checklist. But usually this is mostly books I own just because I'm just seeing them now. But obviously there's so much more I need to get to this year. I just don't have any official plans for it yet. First thing, Ally of Law. I started this, started this book a couple months ago, like a month ago, and I was like, dude, I'm too busy right now, so I put it down. I didn't really get enough pages to get a feel for it. I just, I said, I got like some, I got some basic like knowledge about it, and I'm got about this way much through, but I didn't really get enough to get like a feel for it and really love it. But I also didn't get enough to really hate it, so. I'm going to continue. I just obviously I don't have feelings for it yet, and I will just read it, like have a clear schedule and read it. Yeah, because I'm super, super excited for this book, and um, yeah, I really, really want to cover it on the channel. The next thing I need to get to is Throne of Fire. That's correct. Yeah, <laughs> for some reason it's that it's Throne of Glass, but um, this is uh the second book in the King Chronicles. Like uh, like a year ago, I finished uh, Red Pyramid, and I always said I was gonna finish it up. Then I kind of got a Rick Riordan burnout because I had 20 books in a row of Rick Riordan. Rick Riordan's an amazing author. If you want to see my video on Rick Riordan, you should definitely check it out. But I kind of got like, a, I want to read something else now. That was about a year ago. And I do want to go ahead and pick up Red Pyramid so I can cover it. And this is such an amazing cover. It's a great, I'm really, really excited for this book. The next two books I kind of want to check off the checklist is yours. I've tried to read Cimmerillion two times and both times I was like this month this is gonna be boring and I don't really want to read this yet I think in along with the unfinished tales I um <clears throat> I am nervous for this one this was obviously I'm gonna read the similarly before I pick up unfinished tales I'm pretty sure I'm gonna read it in December after I finish a memory of light just to like check like a big thing on my checklist obviously wheel of time is a big story so once I finish that I will have this to read just so I have this off of my mind and I think I'm gonna do audiobook and physical book just to get as much of it as possible because I was lost in the first two pages and I was like oh I just but I do need to get back into Tolkien and I already did the Lord of the Rings read last year which I already do want to reread already <laughs> but yeah I'm I'm super super duper excited for this book and all, along with the unfinished tales I the unfinished tales I might just read one story at a time like Children of Huron I'm excited for I'm probably gonna read Children of Huron out of my actual edition not the unfinished tales because it's probably more detailed and there's a lot of these stories look cool so I'm probably just gonna read and review one story at a time I don't know that's possible so that those are my two books I need to those are the two Tolkien books by Tolkien which I love these editions I think these are awesome. <clears throat> and the next book I need to read is a book I hear so much about, which is, um, I just, like, hear, like, a lot of good things about it. And I'm currently reading Malice right now. But right now, I kind of want to talk about The Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn. I hear so much about this book. And I'm reading Malice this month, hopefully, because there's getting so much hype. And Shadow of the Shadow of the Gods, Shadow of the Gods has got nothing but... Good coverage on BookTube so far, and this cover is so sick. I don't bet you've heard this. I bet you've heard this multiple times before, but look at how big the dragon is and how small that little person is. And I love Norse mythology, and this is basically a Norse book, and I'm so excited for it. Like, <clears throat> I've never really... I've read Norse mythology, obviously, some books from that, and I need to get more into it. I want to read Neil Gaiman's Norse mythology. That might even be a good way for me to get Neil Gaiman. But Shadow of the Gods, I'm so excited. I think I might get this in August, I hope, because I'm reading Malice, and then I might reach Shadow of the Gods, and then I might continue with the Faithful and the Fallen series, hopefully. And it just every, from everything I hear and everything it looks like, I expect to love this because it looks right up my alley. And I can't wait to cover this because I know a lot of people covered it a couple months ago. It was like a, everyone was reading this, but... Kind of read it a little bit late, but still, I'm really excited for it. But once I finish Malice, I do need to finish Malice, which is 
John Gwynn's first book, if you didn't know, but he's been blowing up recently. I haven't heard of him until this year, and then I've started seeing so much coverage of him, and I'm so I'm so happy that like a little a little author gets bigger coverage, and I am so excited to read his books. And he looks like an amazing guy, and I'm so excited to read Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn. <clears throat> and my last book I have on the list, obviously there's more I want to read this. This is not the rest of the year, but these are just a couple of checkpoints I need to get to. The last book on this list was Heretics of Dune, and I've read all of the Dune saga currently, and this is Heretics of Dune and Chapter House Dune. I want to finish both of these, the, both of those two books this, this year, and I really, really, really did enjoy God Emperor of Dune, and I hear good things about Heretics of Dune. And all the time I was like, okay, the Dune back, the back page of Dune is like, these back covers, I'm like, okay, this, this looks pretty boring. And then I read the back cover, and then I can't not, because I wasn't planning to pick up God Emperor of Dune until I read the back of it, and I was like, wow, this is so interesting. And it, I read this book, the back of this book, and I was like, I need to read it now, because there's so many things happen in between, like, this is like 1,500 years since the God Emperor of Dune. And I didn't know there was... I knew there was a big time skip between Children of Dune and... There's a couple of millennia between Children of Dune and God Emperor of Dune. And now, there's another time skip. Obviously not as huge, but I didn't know there was another time skip. And I'm so happy to be reading this. And then these characters I expect to be really great. And these Dune covers, all of the Dune covers they have are amazing. Holy cow, look at that. That's really beautiful. And especially God Emperor of Dune. I love the God Emperor of Dune cover and the Chapter House Dune cover. It looks really awesome too. But my favorite is the Dune Messiah cover, which is currently the background to my phone. So, yeah, it's just so awesome. And all these, like, the graphic design is really, really well done in this science fiction book. And it gives such a, such a Dune vibe, these books, because it's not action-packed, but it's really epic. Like, there was action, of course, obviously, in Dune, but, like, that's not like what what are you coming for you're coming for the, the epicness and, the, and this beautiful artwork really represents that because you can see he's not fighting anyone but he's also looks super cool i have a picture right there of the dune like paul walking in the sand dunes and i just look at it it's, it's really epic so this was the stack i kind of want to these are the books i kind of want to finish i probably will get to all of these this year that's why like the tbrs i probably won't get to a lot of them but like but these are the ones I kind of want. These are a small checklist because I know there's a lot more I want to get to, but I'm not for sure yet. I know there's obviously Red Rising I want to get to. So, and there's other books like science fiction. I want to get to more science fiction, obviously. So if the reiterate, it's Ally of Law, you know, Throne of Glass, Unfinished Tales, Cimmerillion, Shadow of the Gods, and Heretics of Dune. So this was a short little video on what I kind of want to, kind of a short of what I want to get to this this year. I want to finish these off, hopefully. Uh, again, it's not 100%. I might not, but I do really want to get to all of these. So, yep, that was my video. So, see you in the next one.